I'm Cynthia Jakovicius, and I'm an Associate Professor of Pharmacy Practice at Western University of Health Sciences and an Adjunct Scientist at the Institute for Clinical Evaluative Sciences, and my specialties in pharmacy as well as in cardiology. And I recently had a publication in the New England Journal of Medicine looking at the generic Lipitor and healthcare costs. In 2006, Zocor, which is one of the major statins, went generic and generic simvastatin was available. At that time, the generic simvastatin took over a lot of the market share of all of the statins and people switched from Zocor, the brand of simvastatin, as well as from Lipitor to the generic simvastatin at that time. In 2011, uh, on November 30th, Lipitor, which was the biggest selling statin, cholesterol lowering medication, went generic. And it was the most top selling lipid lowering prescription and also the top selling prescription medication in the US in 2010 with over $7 billion in revenue. Um, statins overall have a very large market share. They're the biggest cholesterol-lowering class, and they had a market share of over $16 billion in 2010 as well. So generic Lipitor right now from the Renbaxi manufacturer is being made in the U.S. Ranbaxi has two facilities in India. It's an Indian pharmaceutical manufacturer that makes generic products. The FDA had some concerns about some quality issues in the past from the Ranbaxi facilities. So the FDA, when they approved the Ranbaxi generic Lipitor product, they decided to mandate that it would be manufactured in the U.S. instead of in India. And this was in a hope to allay some of the concerns about previous quality at these manufacturing facilities. So atorvastatin is likely to take some of the market share away from the generic simvastatin because atorvastatin has greater potency in terms of lipid lowering reduction, especially the bad cholesterol, the uh, LDL cholesterol as well as it seems to have less muscle toxicity and concerns about drug-drug interactions. So all of these reasons make it more likely that the atorvastatin will pick up some of the simvastatin market share. So we estimated some of the cost savings from the change to generic uh, Lipitor and in 2012, there's less cost savings projected at about $2 billion. And then as there's more and more generics likely to be on the market and the cost of the product will actually drop, in 2013 and 2014, we estimate that there will be about um, $4 billion or $4.5 billion in cost savings with the introduction of generic um, Lipitor. So Pfizer has created some very innovative business strategies to try to retain its market share. They've done several things and it's rather unique because often brand name pharmaceutical manufacturers will tend to abandon their brand name product as soon as the generic becomes available. But instead of doing that, they've created some agreements with pharmacy benefits management companies, with insurance companies, where they're the only product that's going to be available to those patients on those plans. And by doing this, they essentially create a monopoly. And further to that, they've also making the price slightly lower than the generic product that's available, so it can't be interchanged at the pharmacy for a generic product. They're offering it to patients at a copay of a generic copay, even though it's the branded product, so patients don't suffer and have to pay a higher copay. Other things that uh, the company is doing is they have a Lipitor for You program where they have a $4 copay available for patients, as well as facilitating home delivery uh, by mail of the Lipitor product. Further to that, they're also um, having direct-to-consumer advertising still available. And again, all of these strategies are very unique because 
the drug companies tend to abandon their products once they become generic, but at this point, they're being very aggressive with their tactics and many strategies to try to retain market share as long as possible. So when a product becomes generic, during the first six months, there is a, this exclusivity period where one product is available to be generic and they don't have other competition. And that allows that first generic product to gain a fair amount of the market share. So Ranbaxy was the first product that is available, so they retained that exclusivity for the first six months. Then after June, um, it's expected that there will be more generic products available to compete. There's also a Watson product available right now, which is basically Lipitor being sold as the Watson generic that is available to be on the market. So right now there's two generics, the Watson Ranbaxy, as well as the brand name uh, Lipitor that is on the market. So Pfizer is having a lot of these unique strategies to try to retain its market share. But what really needs to happen for the price of generic atorvastatin to drop in the long run, especially after the first six months of exclusivity, is for more generic manufacturers to be available. When there's only a couple products available, the price of the product only drops by maybe about 20%. But once there's about five or so products available, the price of the generic products tends to drop by 50 70, 75%, so a significant drop when there is much more competition. So the key is really to allow these other generic products to be available and to make sure that they feel that there's an incentive and enough market share to gain so that there will be that competition. So all of this involves a number of players that really need to have a concerted effort to use the generic products. So first of all, there needs to be physicians who are willing to prescribe the generic products. They need to be available on formularies. There needs to be state laws available so pharmacists can interchange between the brand product and the generic if it is available. And then patients need to be able to want to take the generic product and not feel concerned about the quality available of the generic products. So all of these players need to really operate together in order for there to be a significant switch to the generic products. So in terms of the hurdles for the patient, when they go to the pharmacy, and right now if they wanted a generic atorvastatin, it depends on their insurance plan. So, and their pharmacy benefits management company that has negotiated their drug plan. So if they have a drug plan where only Lipitor is available, that's what they'll actually get. Right now, as I mentioned, the plans um, have been negotiated with Pfizer, so they get the product for the generic copay as well as at the generic price. So there's no loss there in terms of savings. Um, but really, there's a lot of control by the insurance companies and the pharmacy benefits management companies that put on formulary what needs to be uh, available to patients at what levels of copays and which manufacturers are available. Uh, pharmacies throughout the U.S will be available to stock all the different products that are available, but it depends on patients' individual insurance plans.